Hi, Mark with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, October 25th, 2012 with the Gold Report. And this is a monthly chart of gold. And this is a very bullish chart in my opinion. Um, you can see the massive run we've had. This uh, chart goes back here to 2003. We've had this massive run. We've had a couple of corrections along the way. Uh, this one back here uh, from uh, 06 uh, to uh, late 07 was a 17-month <coughs> uh, uh, cup-shaped correction here. And then we had a 19-month correction. Uh, it went down 34% here in 19 months. And now we're in the 13th, mo 13th month of this correction, a little over a year. And you can see that we came down and tested this green dotted line, which is the 20-month moving average, held really well there, formed a nice cup here, and, um, uh, and are now running up along the right side of the cup here. And, uh, you know, uh, for all uh, intents and purposes, looks like we're going to be challenging this 1923.70 uh, top here uh, within the next several months. Uh, so the long-term trend in gold is bullish and uh, holding up well chart-wise. Uh, this 20-month moving average still climbing, uh, uh, you know, at around a 45-degree angle. Uh, same here with this longer term 40 month moving average uh, which is almost a yearly moving average and uh, of course uh, this uh, blue uh, solid line here which is the 10 month uh, so we're well above all that uh, a bullish chart formation on a monthly chart for gold and moving on now to a uh, weekly chart of the gold uh, we're seeing a handle being formed here and uh, here is your cup and now, uh, so far, about a three-week handle in place here, uh, slicing through this blue line, which is the 10-week moving average. Uh, not a great sign, but uh, still a handle. Volume has not been uh, too uh, uh, tremendous here in the handle, which is a good sign. So some consolidation going on uh, in uh, the gold right now in the GLD. Uh, we are still above these key moving averages uh, here, uh, the 20-week and the 40-week moving averages, which are incidentally right neck and neck here. So lots of support down here, uh, going through just a little bit of a, of a small give back here after forming a fairly nice shaped cup here. Um, <coughs> broke out of this sort of longer-term downtrend pattern, which is a great sign. And uh, now I'm going to probably go down and challenge these, uh, down a couple more points on the GLD in my estimation. And uh, we'll see if we can fight a battle down here and hold. And moving on now to a daily chart of the GLD, you can see this sort of rounding top here got up to 174.07 and then uh, ran out of gas. And now we're coming back down, uh, uh, giving back um, around half of this uh, up move that we made starting uh, around the middle of August. Lots of nice big gray bars here, lots of accumulation on the way up. Um, and a uh, little bit of selling picking up uh, uh, as we uh, slice through this 50-day moving average here. Um, <clears throat> but uh, still uh, in a, a decidedly uh, uh, sharp downtrend in the short run here. Uh, I'm looking for a break out uh, to the upside of this downward channel here. Uh, possibly uh, taking uh, uh, out uh, this 50-day uh, moving average and closing above it for a couple of closes. Then I would say we might have a trend change here uh, in the short run. But uh, recapping on a monthly chart, we are definitely in a long-term uptrend in gold, uh, which I believe uh, is going to take us much, much higher. Um, on the weekly chart, we have a cup with a handle forming. And uh, on the daily chart, you can see this handle still in a downtrend. We don't know how long, uh, how low these will go. Uh, best to step aside if you're a short-term trader. Uh, we do have some heavy volume here. Uh, possibly this is some exhaustion. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, lots of support uh, coming in here at your uh, 100 and 200-day moving averages as well. So that's it for your gold report. Thanks for listening.